when you study the area below the curve, it is important to know that the area below the x-axis is negative. And one other thing is if you have a positive area, you plus a negative area that is equals to net area. In this video, I'm going to explain why and then I will show you what net area is. So first of all, area below the x-axis is negative. So that means when you have a region below the x-axis, that area is negative. I know back in geometry, area must be positive, right? Area, area can be zero. When area is zero, that means there is nothing, no area, right? Area can be positive, but when you study geometry in the past, area cannot be negative. But in this type of problem, when you study the area under the curve, I have to tell you that when the region is below the x-axis, the area is negative. So let me use this example to show you why is that negative. Everything has a reason, right? Negative. Can you tell me why? I'm going to tell you right now. So in this problem, I have a parabola, but this parabola is upside down. It's negative x squared. Before we move on to the graph, x squared is a parabola that is concave up or facing up, right? It's a bow or a U that is facing up. If you put a negative in front of the x squared, that means every time you square a value, you put a negative in front of it, the y value is always negative. As a result, the entire parabola is below the x-axis. I am only interested in x between 0 and 4. And then in this problem, I would like to divide the region into four subintervals. So how do I find out that the interval width, the, the width of each subinterval is what? Easy. So if you look to the right, you have a delta x. So delta x is equal to the upper limit of the domain minus the lower limit of the domain, which is 4 minus 0. And then you divide it by 4. Why do you divide it by 4? Because I want to use four subintervals. It's usually determined by the person who wrote the problem. In this problem, I would like to use four subinterval. And then you draw a line segment and then from zero to four, you have to cut the segment into four pieces. That means you have to make three cut. So the first one is from zero to one, right? So that is the width is one and then one plus one is two, two plus one is three, three plus one is four. So if you look at the segment carefully, you can see that each, uh, each subinterval, the length is one. So the length is 1, that means the base of the rectangle is 1. So how do you sketch the rectangle on the picture? So we have a yellow curve that is the parabola. In this problem, I am only interested in using the left sum using four subinterval. So left sum, left sum means you go from left to right. Again, you go from left to right. Where is the very first point on the left hand side? I am looking for a point on the curve, not on a random random position, a point on the curve. The very first point on the curve on the left hand side. So that is zero, zero, right? The origin. And then from left to right, you shoot a line. Do we have any rectangle in in here? The answer is no, because uh, you just line up the one. So there is no rectangle. So that means the area of the first rectangle is zero. That is completely fine. And then the next point from left to right is x is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, I have a point on the curve. And then you should align to the right. And then you line up the two. So this one is your second rectangle. And then the next point on the curve is 2. So you should align to the right. And then you line up the 3. And then that is your next rectangle. And then the next point on the curve is x is equals to 3. And then you should align to the right. And then you line this up. And then you have your fourth rectangle. So what is the area? What is the total area of these four rectangles? You use the base times height, right? So the base is delta x. Okay, so base times height. So base times height, which is uh, delta x which is equals to 1, and then you times f of that x, right? So f, so the first one base is 1, and then you multiply. How do you find the first height? The first height is f of 0. And then you plus the width, the base is 1, and then f of 1, and then you plus the base times height, f of 2, and then you plus 
f of 3 1 the base times f of 3 do we need to worry about the f of 4 the answer is no we do not need to worry about this f of 4 because if you should align to the right there is no rectangle because that is already out of the domain so we do not need to consider f of 4 let's get rid of that okay so l4 is equals to 1 times uh, f of 0 and then f of 1 and then f of 2 and then f of 3 right i still don't see any negative stuff right here so 1 1 1 is 1 what is f of 0 f of 0 is so you have f of x equals to x negative x square f of 0 means you have negative 0 square that is equals to 0 so you have a negative 0 square and then you plus negative 1 square plus negative 2 square plus negative 3 square i have to strongly emphasize that when you calculate this negative 2 square since there is no parenthesis to wrap the two or there is no parenthesis to wrap the two and the square what that means is you have negative one times two square the two square is a separate job so you do the two square first that is a separate operation so which is equals to negative four so you have uh, one times zero minus one right one square is one and then plus minus is minus and then minus four and then minus nine so inside the square bracket you have a negative 14 negative 14 times one is negative 14 so the area is negative because these all the rectangles they are below the x-axis now let me let me ask answer that question why i did the math i got negative everybody can see it the math is easy but why is that negative so let me explain why so do you see that um when you determine the height the negative where is the net where are the negatives came from the negatives came from the height right so the negative one square negative two square and negative three squares how do you get them so look at check out check out these three points so when x is equals to one we have a point right here when x is equals to two we have a point right there when x is equals to three we have a point right there right so these points they are below the x-axis when a point is below the x-axis what is the y value the y value is negative so the point is below the x-axis so below the x-axis the y coordinate is negative so when you add up a negative value that's how you get negative area or another way to say this is the height of the rectangle so the height of the rectangle is negative I know that sounds ridiculous the height is negative but in theory in this problem when you find the height determine the height of a rectangle the height is negative because the height is the y value and the y value is below the x-axis that's why it's negative or you can say the y coordinate is below the x-axis so that's why the y value is negative so what about net area net area if you look up positive area plus negative area is equals to uh net area right so for net area here is how you interpret that so that means if i have a graph like this so let's say this is my y-axis and then this is my x-axis right so that is my x and then that is my y and then i'm going to give you a picture right now so let's say i have a curve that looks like this all right so this is my curve and then i have two regions right here so the first one is here right so the first one is there so that is above the x-axis so that means you will get a positive area and then in the other region you have a region below the x-axis that is negative so let's say for the positive area so what is the total area from uh, a, a a to b suppose that the origin is a and then this point is b from x equals to a to x equals to b is the area going to be positive or negative so this one is not easy it's pretty easy to tell so positive area so just give give me a number so let's say the area is pretty small let's say the area is two 
let's call this region A and then region B. So for region A, the area is equals to 2. And then you have another region, so you have to add that area. So since this region is so big, so let's say the area is equals to negative 10. So when you do a positive area plus negative area, 2 plus 10 plus negative 10, which is 2 minus 10, that is equals to negative A, and then this is called the net area. So when you have a situation like that, the total area can be negative. So back in geometry, the area must be positive, the height must be positive. But in this problem, when you look for the area under the curve using the method that we just learned, the left sum, the right sum, the midpoint sum, you have to be aware that the height of the rectangle can be negative. The total area can be negative. So the the area is negative, that is because when you determine the height, the height is determined by the y coordinate. If the y coordinate is below the x axis, the y coordinate is negative. When you add up a bunch of negative number, the total area is negative. So that explains the net area and why the area can be negative. And that is also the end of this video. If you think my instruction is helpful, let me know in the comment below. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, share the video for me, let more people watch my explanation. Appreciate your help and support. I will see you all in the next lesson. Signing off for now.